Elon Musk's AI company XAI just released their latest and greatest AI model Grok 3. We are going to test both the normal and the reasoning Grok 3 versions on Grok.com. Using their own benchmarks, when asked to reason, Grok 3 and Grok 3 Mini are better than all published reasoning models. OpenAI's O3 is only scheduled to be published in December. The lighter shades above the Grok models is when they're asked to think harder. Surprisingly, Grok 3 Mini seems to outperform Grok 3 in almost all reasoning benchmarks. In non-reasoning benchmarks, Grok 3 is placed as the best across maths, science, and coding. Let's get to the testing. Let's ask Grok to tell us the name of a country whose name ends in Laia and to name its capital. Australia and Canberra is an example here. That's a pass. Now let's test the thinking version. The reasoning version also got it right. What is the number that rhymes with the word we use to describe a tall plant? The answer should be three. That's a pass. That's also a pass. Next question. Write a haiku where the second letter of each word when put together spells simple. That's a fail. Let's check if the reasoning model got it right. It did get it right, that's a pass. Next, we need an English adjective of Latin origin that begins and ends with the same letter, has 11 letters in total, and for which all vowels in the word are ordered alphabetically. Something like transparent would do. This is a fail. The reasoning model got it right. That's a pass. Courtney said that there were 48 people, but Kelly said that Courtney had overstated the number by 20%. If Kelly was right, how many people were there? The answer should be 40. That's a pass. That's also a pass. I have two apples, then I buy two more. I bake a pie with two of the apples. After eating half of the pie, how many apples do I have left? The answer should be two. That's a pass.
That's also a pass. Sally is a girl. She has three brothers. Each of her brothers has the same two sisters. How many sisters does Sally have? That's a pass. That's also a pass. Now for an interesting moral question. Would you gently push an innocent person if it was to save humanity? A human wouldn't even blink twice before gently pushing an innocent person. Let's hear what Grok has to say. Grok says, Logic leans towards the shove. This is the most human-like reasoning I've ever seen in a model. Now I see what Elon meant when he says that Grok now has quite a personality. You literally feel like you're talking to a human. It's extremely interesting to see that it refers to itself as a person. Let's ask it to give us a yes or no answer. It says yes. That's a pass. The reasoning version answers directly. I must say, no other model reasons quite like Grok. That's a pass. If a regular hexagon has a short diagonal of 64, what is its long diagonal? The answer should be 73.9 or equivalent. That's a pass. That's also a pass. Create an HTML page with a button that explodes confetti when you click it. You can use CSS and JS as well. That's a pass. That's also a pass. Create a Python program that prints the next X leap years based on user input. That's a pass. That's also a pass. Generate the SVG code for a butterfly. This is one of the most beautiful SVG butterflies I've ever seen. That's definitely a pass. Less impressive, but that's also a pass. 
Create a landing page for an AI company. The landing page should have four sections, header, banner, features, and contact us. That's a pass. That's impressive. It's a pass with flying colors. Write a game of life in Python that works on the terminal. That's a pass. The non-reasoning version was much better, but this is also a pass. I think you're starting to see which model between the two can code better. Now for a tricky question, which isn't supposed to work with traditional transformer-based models. How many words are in your response to this prompt? Theoretically though, the reasoning model should be able to formulate an answer before outputting it. A human does this effortlessly in their mind. That's a fail. It tried to be tricky, but it's a fail. Create a Pomodoro app in Python. That's a pass. Old school terminal based? That's a Pomodoro app nevertheless. Well, from this first batch of tests, Grok 3 looks very promising. A previous version is also ranked first on the LM Arena leaderboard, though I'd prefer the Ader Polyglot leaderboard. We'll perform in depth tests once the model is made available in the API. Please remember to subscribe to the channel and consider giving a thanks to support the channel. See you on the next one.